final example, and this is an example that doesn't exist yet, but I, I wish it would and hope it will one day, would be ways to reward um, small farmers around the world for conserving the vast diversity of crops that provides the underlying foundation for food security for humankind for, the, for our future. The way that uh, industrial agriculture in the United States stays ahead uh, of the uh, uh, evolution of new diseases and new insects in the field is by constantly bringing in new genetic material that, uh, from uh, varieties that have resistance to these uh, emerging threats. And the source of that uh, genetic material is the vast diversity of crops that's bequeathed to us by generations of farmers uh, going back thousands of years and is maintained in the field today by small farmers, particularly in historic centers of diversity like southern Mexico and Guatemala in the case of maize or what we call corn or the Andes in the case of uh, potatoes, uh, Bangladesh in the ca and, and Southeast Asia in the case of rice uh, and so on. Currently, there is no reward for the people who conserve this uh, this genetic diversity. On the contrary, they are regarded by their own governments and by many development agencies as backward and what they ought to really do is either switch to growing you know, uh, industrial style crops, grow snow peas or melons for exports to the United States, or get a real job working in a factory. And the fact that what they're doing by continuing to cultivate that maize in their hilly uh, small plots is conserve the foundation for world food security is unrecognized largely and certainly unrewarded. And I would love to see, I mean, young people out there, you want an entrepreneurial idea, do it. I will do everything I can to support you. Think about Mayan corn chips, you know, using original uh, native varieties of corn, which taste a lot better than the stuff we eat, believe me. Making chips out of that on the back, having something that describes the Mayan creation myth where Humans were created from an ear of corn and talks about the importance of crop genetic diversity. I mean, shade-grown coffee is great, but here we're talking about the foundation of human uh, food security for future generations, and we really need to protect it.